A semiconductor uh, a, a integrated circuit is, is a semiconductor wafer on which thousands or millions of tiny resistors, capacitors, diodes and transistors are fabricated. Now uh, there are several advantages behind this. First one is size. Size of the um, IC is very small. Uh, it depends on the technology used. Uh, so uh, it may be within a micrometer, a micrometer range maybe a few micrometer square micro, micrometer uh, is the area of the ic and due to the small size it is possible to incorporate large number of components within the ic so first second one is low cost due to batch processing so cost is low uh, because a uh, large number of ic can be fabricated on single wafer so that will reduce the cost third one is less power consumption due to the small size area is, sm is small and that's why power requirement also low and uh, current uh, in the IC generally micro microampere or nano uh, microampere or milliampere range so that's why uh, also it um, it uh, consume less power also supply voltage is less so the the power consumption is of IC is um, less so that's why it uh, it is possible to use it for maybe wireless application Fourth one is higher speed of operation. Fifth one is less weight because of the small size weight is also less and you can easily replace uh, the IC. There are also several uh, limitations. Uh, first one is not suitable for high power applications. So IC uh, you cannot use for maybe mega megawatt range powers, but it is suitable for low power like milliwatt watt range power you can use IC. And second was second one is inductance. That's why that is the inductance and transformers cannot be fabricated uh, on the IC. One important IC we'll, we we are going to learn is operational amplifier. In short, it is also known as op-amp. Now, uh, why it is named as operational amplifier? Because it is an amplifier. It is an amplifier, a differential amplifier. And uh, operational means it can perform different kind of arithmetic and logical operation. In earlier days, when we don't have any digital computers, uh, we use analog signal processing. And uh, for analog signal processing, we, we, required, we, we, we required that time and various kind of arithmetic operations. So uh, using operational amplifier, we can perform different kind of arithmetic and logical operation. In arithmetic operation, you can use, you can um, perform the addition, addition, subtraction, multiplication, logarithmic, anti-log, and division, etc. So we can division, integration, differentiation so you can perform different kind of arithmetic uh, operations uh, using op-amp op -amp circuit and remember this uh, operations will be performed in analog form only and there are different kind of logical operations like uh, we can perform uh, comparison and or not so you, we can easily uh, do this kind of operation so logical operations so it can perform various kind of arithmetic and logical logical operation in analog signals uh, so that's why it is known as operational amplifier now uh, we'll draw the electrical equivalent circuit of the open So before that, uh, we'll draw the symbol of the open, then we'll draw the electrical equivalent of this symbol. So open symbolize like this. It have two inputs. One input there will be minus sign, another input input is plus sign, and there will be output. So meaning behind this plus is that this terminal is known as 
non inverting terminal minus sign there is a minus sign associated with this terminal so that is known as inverting terminal it is output there will be supply supply voltages so that will be minus vee negative supply voltage and that will be plus vcc so that will be plus supply voltage so that is the symbol for the op amp on which you have two input and uh, one is output now if i uh, draw the electrical equivalent circuit uh, electrical equivalent of this uh, it will be something like this there will be an resistance that is ri this resistance is ri ri is known as input resistance ri input resistance ri is known as input resistance which is the resistance seen by looking at these terminals now you have a dependent source you have a dependent source and you have resistance this resistance is known as r0 r0 is output output resistance and this is internally grounded now this dependent source this dependent source depends on the input difference signal so if this difference of these two signals input signals vd remember see here that we are taking vd plus and minus so that is vd will be vd is the difference signal and vd equal to v2 minus v1 so non inverting voltage minus inverting voltage so if the difference of the input signal is vd then the voltage will be here so it is voltage dependent voltage source so voltage will be a into vd a into vd and output will be v0 a is the of op amp gain a is known as open loop gain of op amp so that is the uh, that is basic basic uh, electrical equivalent symbol of this uh, op amp and uh, as you can see uh, it amplifies it amplifies the difference between the two signals input signals so it is known as differential amplifier.